Hi, this is King of Review. Find the points of intersection between y equals 6x squared and y equals 2x plus 8. So we have two graphs here. If we plot them on a coordinate plane, we have our x-axis and y-axis here. So this one here is a parabola. So it could look something like this. I'm not plotting the exact points here. I'm just giving an estimate of what this situation could look like. And we have a line here, y equals 2x plus 8. So this could look something like this. So you could see in our picture we have a parabola and we have a line. And they intersect at two points. It's right here and right here. So this question asks, what are the coordinates of these two points of intersection? One method for solving this is to use substitution. We have an equation for y, y equals 6x squared, and we can substitute in this 6x squared in for this y value here. So let's do that. We have 6x squared equals 2x plus 8. Now I want to move all the terms over to the left-hand side so that I can have a 0 on the right side. So I'll subtract a 2x on both sides, and I'll subtract an 8 on both sides. This leaves us with a 6x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. Now this equation can be factored. The left-hand side can be factored. Well, we can first factor out a 2 from each of these three terms, so let's do that. When we factor out a 2, we get 2 times 3x squared minus x minus 4, and this equals 0. And now we can factor this portion of the equation. One method for doing this is by using a factorization box. We put our x squared term here, 3x squared, and our constant term, which is negative 4, here. Which two terms can multiply together to give 3x squared? Well, 3x times x gives 3x squared. And what two terms can multiply together to give a negative 4? One option is negative 4 and 1. Filling out the remainder of the box, 1 times 3x gives 3x, and x times negative 4 gives negative 4x. If you add these two boxes together, 3x plus a negative 4x, you get negative 1x, which is right here. So now we've factored as 2 times 3x minus 4 times x plus 1 equals 0. Now we want to consider something called the zero product property. If we have two numbers, let's call them a and b, and if we multiply them together to get 0 for the answer, this means that either a or b must be 0 to get 0 for the answer. So we could have a times 0 equals 0, or 0 times b equals 0. Applying this to our problem, if I set either of these two terms equal to 0, I'll get 0 for the answer here. So let's do that. Let's set 3x minus 4 equal to 0 and x plus 1 equal to 0. Now solve for x. I'll add 4 on both sides. This gives me 3x equals 4, and then I'll divide by 3 on both sides. I have x equals 4 thirds, and if you write this as a decimal, you'll get 1.333. So we have our first x value here, and now for the other term, I'll subtract 1 on both sides, 
and I get x equals negative 1. And here's our other x term. Now we need to solve for the y term. So we have the equation y equals 6x squared. And what I'm going to do is put in each of these x values into the equation and solve for y. So f of 1.333 equals 6 times 1.333 squared. And this equals 10.667. So I have a point at 1.333, 10.667. So that might be this coordinate here, this intersection here. So 1.333 and 10.667. So that could be this point of intersection here. Now let's use the other value for x. Plugging that into the same equation, I have f of a negative 1 equals 6 times negative 1 squared, and this equals 6. So I have another point of intersection at negative 1, 6. So that could be this point here. So the coordinate is negative 1, 6. So letter C is correct. Thanks for watching.